my family, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have adopted their family friend Ellen DeGeneres Chicken named Sinky. My family, I'll tell you more on my family what went down before we learned, my family, of this, you know, news from Ellen herself, Harry and Meghan's friend. Now, my family, Ellen, posted on her Instagram account a photo of her chicken called Sinky. And my family, here is what Ellen, my family, said on Instagram. And I quote, Sinky's leg is fixed, but our chickens were still picking on her, so she had to be rehomed. Luckily, our friends, Harry and Megan Scoop, had room for one more. Not sure yet what her royal title will be. And my family, Ellen, then followed up on her post, posting a clip, my family, of the chicken called Sinky, adopted by Prince Harry and Meghan. And my family now lives in Archie's chicken coop. My family, here is the clip that Ellen posted my family on her Instagram account. My family, kindly look at this, please. You'll hear Megan's voice. My family, kindly hear this, please. My family, there is a chicken called Sinky. Hi. Megan, adopt me, please. <laughs> I, wow, my family, I always love hearing, you know, Megan's sweet voice. Megan has a beautiful voice, my family. And that was Megan's voice in the background. Welcoming Sinky to Archie's Chicken Coop, my family. You know? And uh, Ellen then posted on her Instagram account saying this. Update, Sinky is fitting right in at her new home. And my family, first of all, it is so nice to hear Megan's sweet voice. My family, I do have to say that. It is so nice to hear Megan's sweet voice. I, I love hearing my family, Megan's sweet voice. And when this was happening, I posted a comment on my Instagram account, my family saying this. And I quote, British media have been desperate for any kind of update, news about Harry Meghan. Well, there you have it. Archie's chicken coop got a new chicken from Harry and Meghan's friend, Ellen D. Generous, my family. My family, that is what I posted on my Instagram account. And uh, my family... Now, the moment I was posting that, I saw that the Daily Mail, my family, a UK tabloid that calls Harry and Meghan irrelevant, wrote an entire article, my family, about Meghan and Harry adopting Sinky. And my family, here is what my family they said. And really, my family, it's so nice, first of all, just to hear Megan's voice. But honestly, this stuff isn't really newsworthy. It isn't really newsworthy. However, what is amusing to me, that I found find really amusing, is how my family, the same tablets that call Harry and Meghan irrelevant, are reporting about my family, you know, chickens 
these tabloids had full access to Prince Harry Meghan. And that wasn't Harry Meghan's choice. They had access to Prince Harry Meghan's team. Their people. You know? Whereby they could get whereby they could get information about Prince Harry and Meghan. You know? And when Meghan gave her to Archie, they also could get information about Archie. And now, to see them, within my family, a couple of minutes after Ellen's post, writing an exclusive about Harry and Meghan adopting Ellen's chicken, my family is quite amusing to me. I find it very amusing. What my family is even more and more interesting, really, is the person who wrote my family this piece for the Daily Mail. And the person's name is Caroline Graham. My family, for those who don't know much about Caroline Graham, my family, I'd like to tell you some stuff about Caroline Graham for those who don't know much about this person. Now, Caroline is the woman who was dispatched by the Daily Mail to go to Mexico, rent a place right next to Thomas Markle, and find a way to gain any kind of information about Meghan Markle. Remember, the tablets knew that Meghan was being advised by Charles, for example, to fly all the way to Mexico and tell Thomas Markle to stop his attacks, you know, on the royal family. My family, that is what Meghan was told to do by Charles. Instead, you know, my family, Meghan asked the Queen what to do about Thomas Markle and the Queen told her to write him a letter. And that is what Meghan did. Meghan wrote Thomas Markle a letter asking him to stop the attacks, you know, and telling him that she, Meghan, wishes Thomas Markle peace. And my family, it is believed that my family, Colin Graham, is the royal correspondent who is the one who gained access to the letter that Megan sent, who was given by Thomas Markle the letter that Megan had sent to Thomas Markle. And the My Family, that letter was published by Daily Mail. And you all know what happened, my family, later. It set off a chain of My Family reactions where Harry Megan sued the Daily Mail for illegally publishing Megan's letter. And my family, we saw that Megan suffered a miscarriage because of this press that she suffered because of that case. We saw, my family, many things happening, many things unfolding, especially after the Daily Mail illegally published Megan's letter, knowing what they are doing was illegal, what they were doing is illegal, was illegal, but published Megan's letter without Megan's consent illegally because they knew that Megan was not protected by the royal family because they knew that the firm allowed the UK media to go after Megan Markle. And my family, UK media, who are known for being extremely racist, were happy to do the farm bidding by going after Meghan Markle. You know? My family, so Colin Graham also has been photographed with Thomas Markle. So my family, clearly, they were extremely, extremely close. This person is the person who I believe was waiting for Meghan to come to Mexico. My family. She was waiting for Meghan to come to Mexico. If you watch also the Harry and Meghan documentary, Meghan tells us that there were some texts 
being sent by Thomas Marco to her. And the Megan said, that is not my father. And Megan said, in all her life in this earth, her father, Thomas Markle, has never really called her, you know, Megan. She He always, you know, calls Megan Meg. Always. My family, Megan, said that. And because of the texts that were being sent to her, Megan said to Harry that that's not my father. Someone else, you know, clearly has his mobile phone. And that person is believed to be Caroline Graham. From the person who my family was practically, I believe my family, in my opinion, was the one who was sending texts to Meghan Markle using Thomas Markle's phone to someone who my family somehow thought she could gain some kind of access to Meghan Markle, even by force. And now she spends her time reporting about chickens. <laughs> my family, that is what Caroline Graham is doing. Because my family, Caroline is based in Los Angeles. And she writes columns for the Daily Mail. She is tasked with reporting about things that you know go on. For example, my family in Los Angeles about celebrities and even about Meghan Markle. She is tasked with reporting about that, with covering that. So really, to see someone like that now reporting about my family, you know, chickens. Honestly, you know, my family. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I am super, super happy that this is what the likes of Carl and Graham, my family, are left with my family doing right now for the rest of her life. She will never have any kind of access to Meghan Markle. It's never going to happen. And uh, she'll never ever come close enough to Meghan Markle. It's never going to happen. Now she's left with reporting about chickens, my family. Lack of access to Meghan and Harry clearly is hurting the UK tablet press so much, you know. And uh, my family, so really, here my family is what has been said about my family, even more about, you know, Sinky, my family. Now my family, so the former talk show host, Ellen, who's sprawling $25 million dollar Modesto compound is just a five minute drive from Prince Harry Meghan's mansion, you know, updated her followers on the progress of Sinky, a rescue chicken, you know, and Ellen has been sharing regular health updates with fans about Sinky, who suffered a broken fibula bone in her leg shortly before Christmas. And Ellen revealed that she and wife Portia de Rossi called the rescue bird Sinky because she took up residence in an old stone sink in her backyard. My family. And uh, she said, you can blame Steve Carroll for that name. He named her. Joked my family Ellen, referring to the office star Steve Carroll, who is also a close friend. But while Sinky's leg was healed successfully, the bird was being bullied by Ellen's other rescue chickens, hence her relocation. Writing under a picture of Sinky enjoying meal, a meal of fresh lettuce, Ellen said, and I quote, that Sinky's leg is fixed, but our chickens were still picking on her, so she had to be rehomed. Luckily, our friends, Harry and Meghan's coop, had room for one more. Not sure yet what her role title will be. My family, Ellen, said. And my family, basically, we all know that, you know, my family, Meghan, does love, you know, to rescue my family, you know, chickens, 
Megan and family love to that family. And also, in the Oprah interview, Megan told Oprah that the chicken coop was part of her plan to live authentically and also get back down my family to basics. So my family, I'm sure that Siki will be happy, you know, at Archie's chicken coop. My family, that I am very much sure of my family. So my family, basically, you know, honestly, this really isn't news and stuff, really. But my family, it is just nice to hear Megan's voice. As a fan of Megan, it is so nice. I'm happy to hear Megan's voice. I'm super, super happy to hear Megan's voice. And even let me read, you know, some comments also from members of the Squad My Family about, you know, my family, this update that Ellen, my family, has given us. For example, some of us, Sean, London, Say this that Lady Sinky seems to be enjoying herself at Archie's chicken coop. You know? And for all the dangers out there wondering or saying, where Sinky? Or, you know, that Ellen should be allowed to see Sinky. Lady Sinky is just fine, my family. That is what my family someone called Sean. Save my family. And also. You know, my family, Ellen did post, you know, my family, a clip of Sinky, you know, at her new home. That is Archie's chicken coop, my family. I'm sure that Sinky will be happy there. So my family, you know, really, I'm super happy to see that, you know, Megan is continuing just living her life, living authentically, doing what she loves to do, my family. And uh, my family, I'm just super, super happy. To hear Megan's voice, that my family has made me extremely, extremely super, super happy. My family, and this clip is from the Oprah interview back when Megan was still pregnant with my family, Lilibet. My family, look at that beautiful, beautiful at Archie's chicken coop. You know, my family, I love this so much. I love this clip so much. And may Harry and Megan keep on loving each other forever and ever and ever and ever. Each and every single day, my family of their lives. It's always super nice to see my family that um, to hear really that Megan is continuing the life. My family, you know, living her life. My family full of peace, full of happiness, and doing what she wants to do. My family, that is what we want to see Megan keep on doing, doing what she wants to do. My family, and long may God bless Megan and Prince Harry the Duke and Duchess, my family of Sussex. My family, you know, someone else said this, you know, that Lady Sinky, that would be, you know, Sinky's royal title, my family. Someone else, my family, said that. Yep, love it. And also Megan also rescued Harry from that nasty cult, my family. You can be sure about that 100%. Harry is at a place whereby my family is a healthy environment for him. And I just think that we must also remind ourselves also of the outrage from the media at Prince Harry being awarded the Living Legends of Aviation Award. If someone truly cares about you, they'll be happy, happy for you. But we all know that Turkey media have never ever cared for Prince Harry. They've only wanted to exploit him. And when they see him thriving outside of the farm, outside of the toxic institution, they are so bitter, angry about that. And they can't stand seeing Harry being recognized for his achievements, for Harry's, in my family, accomplishments. And my family, we love seeing Harry and Meghan being recognized for their work, for their achievements, and my family for their accomplishments and long may they be blessed my family so my family harry is in a place whereby he is recognized whereby he is loved and megan is in a place whereby she is recognized also and fully fully loved and also surrounded by the love of her husband and her amazing beautiful kids prince archie and princess lilibet diana my family and long may 
Harry and Meghan be blessed with family. My family, someone said that anyone who loves animals is a good person in my book. My family, someone else said that. But can I rent a room at Harry and Meghan's place? <laughs> my family, you and me both would like that too. But I don't think you know that that's going to happen. Big thanks to Prince Archie. Thank you. My family, someone else said that. You know, my family, someone else my family said that. So really, my family, I'm super happy. I mean, this stuff, even if it ain't news, in my family, it has been reported globally. Even someone said that if a hen adopted by Harry and Meghan can make the front page of the British tablets, like Daily Mail, imagine the day when we see a clean, clear photo of Prince Archie and Princess Lily Bertana. Without a shadow of a doubt, my family, the internet will break. My family, that photo will break the internet, my family. People are interested in my family, of course, Harry, Meghan, and their kids. And my family, even the haters who call them irrelevant, Keep obsessing over Harry and Meghan. My family. You know? So, honestly, for me, it is... I'm happy. I'm happy to see that Harry and Meghan are doing well, living their lives, living Meghan, living authentically. You know, my family with how, you know, she wanted to live. I'm happy, my family, about that. I'm also finding... I find it, you know, funny, really, to see how UK media have now resorted really to, to, to what about chickens, really. You know, when they had full access to Prince Harry and Meghan in the past, and now they don't, because of their own actions. Colin Graham, who was trying so hard to find out to ruin Meghan's life, to destroy Meghan's life, you know, using Thomas Markle. And now, because she failed, now she has to report about Ellen talking about, you know, chickens that Ellen sent, you know, to Harry and Meghan's place. Oh, my family, it's a beautiful sight to behold. My family, now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lipetona and Doria Bugland, and all of you members of the squad at home, my family. Even a chicken in Modesito makes global news. My family, <laughs> touch to tell you how much power and influence that my family Harry and Megan have. It is immense. It is immense, 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 immense. Immense, my family. And long may Harry and Meghan, my family, be blessed. And also long may the kids, also Prince Archie and Princess Lily Bertana, also my family, be blessed. And with that and so much more, stay tuned on this video, my family. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bertana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you, members of the squad at home, he never wins, love wins. And stay tuned on this video, my family. Life goes forever and may God bless you. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.